What's up, y'all? This week I'm working on a commission of a cat. This is actually the first cat I've ever painted. Um, this is for a friend of mine, his cat, Thomas, appropriately named. Um, I decided with this one I wanted to block in just some general shapes. And since Thomas has very gold fur, I wanted to lay down uh, some, some gold and yellow paint just to, to have a background to build up on. So I did a couple different versions and uh, ended up picking one that kind of matched the shape of the, of the cat's profile. Uh, of the silhouette of the cap. So I have this really nice photograph here. I'm just using Sraal tracing paper to, to go over it and uh, get in some basic outlines. Thomas is originally from Miami and so I wanted to make the background feel like a little bit old school Miami Vice nightlife feel. I end up starting with the darkest colors, uh, just laying them down as well as any tones that I see. Just, um, it's a very safe place to start. Uh, it's a very easy place for me to, to kind of get a handle on the overall look of the piece and kind of anchor, create a, a likeness fairly quickly. And then I can react from that and add you know, medium tones and light tones. Um, I, I did not want to get this to look photorealistic or you know, hyper-realistic. I, I wasn't going to paint the fur to feel like a photograph or anything like that. In fact, the client asked me not to do that. Uh, this was, uh, you know, an attempt to stay fairly loose. You know, it needed to look like Thomas, but not look like a photograph, if that makes any sense. Once I, I got it some nice marks going and the color was fairly accurate to me, uh, I just used several different types of brushes to, to just to make, make different marks and, and try to capture uh, as best I could the likeness. Sometimes I, I try to save the eyes for last, but in this case, uh, I wanted to make sure I got the eyes down pretty good. So I just went in with some lighter gold and white and carbon black and a little bit of uh, burnt umber and just started working on the eyes just to make sure I could get those, get those down. The white was kind of the next step. I really like the graphic nature of the shapes that are created. Uh, between the, the darker colors and the, and the white. Ended up using several different golds and coppers with a big brush just to add texture. Um, and then from that point on, uh, it really was all about just adding texture and trying to build up more layers of the various colors that I'd been using already. It's probably hard to see from the video and it's it's obviously going very quickly, but I just worked it over and over again with smaller and smaller brushes and just continued to layer up different colors and values. From this point on, really all I'm doing is just adding lots of details. Same four or five colors that I started with, but just using different brushes to, to build up texture and add details. I always like to add little secrets or little subtle graphic things that maybe aren't noticed at first and in this case i added a little crown over thomas uh, thomas unfortunately recently passed away and i had that little symbol in there i pay honor and homage to, to him as always even on paper i use uh, isolation coat to seal in the whole piece and then after that's dried uh, for 24 hours I'll add um, a layer of varnish. In this case, I ended up doing a gloss varnish, which I've been using more and more often recently. And I really feel like it brings out the depth and richness of the colors, especially the blacks. I've been using golden gloss acrylic varnish. It's a mouthful. Anyway, here's how the uh, painting turned out. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks a lot like Thomas, AKA Tom Tom. I'm hoping that the family that's receiving this will, will enjoy it and uh, cherish it for years to come. Let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by. Love to hear from you. Stay tuned. we got a lot more videos coming out in the near future. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Take care. See ya.